Okay, guys, <clears throat> here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Guys, thank you so much for being on here. For those of you that follow me on my um, in my private Facebook group, you guys rock. You're awesome. Um, and you, um, if you just started following me, um, I'm starting to get a lot of followers, you guys. The reason why is because of um, the value that I've been providing. I've been doing live videos um, pretty consistently three days a week. <clears throat> as well as I've been spending um, a lot of energy cultivating my fan page. And another um, tip I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to share with you guys what's called my one-two punch, okay? So I am just so excited to share with you guys what I'm doing. So for those of you that don't know me, um, just really, really quickly, let me just breeze through this really quickly. But um, I'm a wife. For those of you that don't know, I found my husband at the ripe age of 40. Um, and I will share that story another on another training or another live video or something, but I literally manifested my husband into my life. He fit everything that I asked for. And um, there's absolute truth behind the science and the science behind manifestation, you guys. But that's a different training altogether. I'm also a stepmom. I have a beautiful stepdaughter and an awesome stepson. They're both in college now. Um, which is really cool because now they're adults and it's so cool. So um, it's a total blast being a stepmom. I'm also a caregiver for my mom. Um, my mom, we almost lost her a couple years ago. And um, the, the interesting thing about that, you guys, is I, I actually made a video about four years ago that I was going to want to be able to, to take care of my mom because she's lived with both my other sisters um, for some time. And it was more of just a place to live. Like they, my older sister had a place out in the country. She had an apartment in the basement and you know, she was working and as she developed some health issues, um, spinal stenosis and vertigo, um, Meniere's disease, she um, had to retire early. And then she ended up living with my little sister for a few years and then they decided to serve a mission. So we needed to find a place for mom to stay and I was still working full time as an insurance salesperson at that point. And what's interesting is my mom lived on her own for a couple of years, but we were always worried about her because she was slowly getting, you know, not as mobile. And so I made the I made the proclamation that I was going to want to be the next to take care of her. And I didn't know how I was going to do that, but I was going to do everything I could to do that. Um, fast forward now, um, I'm now working from home. I'm now creating my freedom and I'm able to take care of my mom on a full-time basis. She's downstairs. I have a little baby monitor that's, that I have right next to me that um, we use to communicate with each other um, because my mom can't go up and down the stairs. So um, I'm able now to be able to give her um, the extra services that she needs. I, I actually hire somebody to come in and give her exercises twice a, twice a week, um, which is awesome. And I'm able to give her the things that she needs to be comfortable. And then of course, we're gonna be looking into hopefully surgery to help her with her spinal stenosis. But that's a different thing altogether. But guys, my point is, is that, is that I'm able to do that now because I made a decision. And, um, I'm going to share with you what I'm doing. So just really quickly, my background. I have a degree in marketing and business administration. I've known my whole life that I was going to be in sales. My dad was a stockbroker for many years. And then he was a salesperson where he actually had like his own territory. And he was a sales manager. And I just loved the, the psychology of sales. I don't know why I was just drawn to that. And um, I knew I was always going to be in sales because I knew that's where the money was, right? And when my parents went through a really nasty divorce, um, I, all, I, knew, I knew I wanted to be in sales, but I also knew I wanted to be able to take care of myself. I, w I wasn't going to want to rely on anybody to take care of me. And so that was why I went into marketing and business administration. And my dream at that point, you guys, was corporate sales. And so as soon as I got out of college, I started my corporate sales career and I enjoyed it at that time because that's what I thought was like my limit, right? <laughs> but then after a while, I started to get the entrepreneurial bug. I wanted to work for myself more because it was really stressful having a new quota every month. Every month, you could be a rock star, you could win the awards for that month, but then the very next month, it starts all over again. 
And that could be really stressful. And I was really living, I was working for my vacations. I couldn't wait to go on vacation just to get away from it all. And so then I looked into insurance sales. And what I liked about that is depending on how, how hard you work is how much money you make. So I worked my butt off. Um, but still at the same time, guys, in that industry, um, you know, I still had to answer to managers and I still had to work for somebody. Okay. So I tr then got the true desire to be truly independent. And that was when I met my husband and I um, wanted to be able to spend more time with him because at that time I was working my insurance business full time. I'd been in it for five years. And I did have my own schedule, but I was still working 60 hours a week. I was driving hundreds of miles a week. I was gone all the time. I would come home exhausted, and I wanted to spend time with my dream husband, right, and my family. So I started looking into other options, and that's when I looked into network marketing. And guys, those of you that know my story, you know that I was a full bona fide, as we call it, hashtag spam turd, right? <laughs> I was a spam turd. I did it all the wrong way. And even though I have a sales background, guys, you still have to learn the skill sets of social media marketing, okay? Because just because you join a company, you might have seen the presentation. You might have gotten excited, but the people that you're marketing to, not necessarily. And until you can get them to see the presentation of your company, you need to figure out a way to get them to know, like, and trust you. Do you guys agree? If you guys do, put a comment um, below this video, um, either there or underneath the YouTube video. Just put a comment and just say, yes, I agree. I totally agree. Because... If you guys find that there's a lot of people that give up because they're doing it the wrong way, and myself included, I, I, what I did was because of the fact that I wasn't having any success at all, I was brand new. Guys, if you're brand new, I know how it feels. I remember how I felt like, how is anybody going to feel like I'm somebody that they're going to want to connect with? You know, how do I build my credibility? Well, guys, I'm going to share with you how to do that. But before I do that, let me tell you what happened. I then decided to start blogging. I wanted to create websites because I was like, okay, obviously they, I'm not credible enough yet to just be spamming, you know, my company information on my, on my profile. Right. So then I started learning how to blog. And when I started blogging, that was a very, I learned that that was a very powerful tool to use to brand myself. And it was from there, guys, that I started um, using videos. I started doing a lot of, I guess you would call it vlogging, because I would do videos, I would upload it to YouTube, and then I would also embed those videos on my blogs. So literally, guys, I've created several blogs, okay? But I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with my blog, because if you guys are really wanting to find a way to establish credibility, you really want to consider um, branding yourself around a website because that's kind of your main hub. And I'm going to explain that to you. But before we do, when I when I started blogging, I then learned that okay, just because I started a blog doesn't mean that everyone's going to find me. You then need to learn social media marketing. And so what I do, guys, is most of my most of my blog posts that people read. I share through my social media channels, my social media platforms, okay? But let me tell you, social media, you guys, is the cat's meow in regards to Facebook, okay? Facebook is the cat's meow, guys. There's over a billion active users now on Facebook every day. Oh, I got a private message, hold on. You are up and going. Oh, thank you, Tanya. She just said I was up and going. Yeah, I'm keeping my messenger on, so if you guys have any messages. So, um, okay. So that, guys, when I started doing the social media marketing, when I started learning attraction marketing, okay, when I plugged into a training system, I plugged into learning the tools it takes to brand myself, that's when I started rocking my business. And for those of you that are, for those of you that are in my private group, you guys, see how much engagement that we get, you know, on, on my posts. And that's because guys, we've 
you guys are my targeted, you guys are targeted leads. And let me tell you, when I, when I say that you're a targeted lead, <laughs> I'm not embarrassed to say that because all I think of is anybody that is in network marketing or are wanting to learn how to do online marketing, you're a targeted lead for me. Why? Because I have tools that I use that I could recommend to you. But that doesn't mean that you have to use them. But what I'm going to do, guys, what my mission is, my passion, is I want to show you guys what I'm doing that's working for me. And then if, you, if it makes sense to you, then take advantage of it. Do what I'm doing, okay? If it's not, then that's fine. I'll be more than happy to personally coach you if that's what you like. But what I'm doing, guys, is I'm mirroring, I'm marrying, um, Basically, my, my marketing background, my love of sales, my love of communicating with people with technology. And I think it's a perfect marriage because um, my mom is the has the best personality. I think I take after my mom when it comes to my goofy personality. And then my dad is very analytical. <laughs> so I think that I've got both of those working for me. So I understand people that are very analytical and I understand people that are looking for freedom, that love people, right? So I think that um, what, I, what I can offer to the market is something that I think is of value and I'm not going to discount myself. And you guys see my posts. It's all about mindset as well, believing in yourself. And trust me, guys, if you guys have the desire, I truly believe that God placed the desire in your heart for a reason. And if you've got the desire, you can go after your dreams. And I want to show you how.